have more on that coming up shortly. West of the metro near Waterloo, the Elkhorn and Platte rivers are receding, but it's still difficult to get to because many roads are destroyed or still covered with water. Three News Now photojournalist Stephanie Nolte gives you an aerial look at some of the devastation. Kim Wolf has been flying almost nonstop since the flooding began last week. First rescuing people and delivering supplies. You know, it's really emotional because these people are really uncertain what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, or and even though they're safe, their their property may be destroyed. And now surveying the damage. Used to be a bunch of grass on a lot of these places, but all sand. Tuesday, he flew us west of Omaha around the Elkhorn and Platte rivers. Cattle been there for a while. At least they got feed. They're getting fed. This is the area near Center Street. You can see the bridge is washed out. Many streets still covered in water. The threat's gone and just leaving the damage now. I mean, you can see. Campers out there on their side destroyed. The floodwaters washed away portions of shoreline, creating steep drop offs. Be afraid of losing my house. A car abandoned on Blondo, just east of the Elkhorn River. Wolf says at one point it was totally underwater. Oh, it's going down quite a bit, a lot. Maple Street is back open, but the water is coming right up to the edge of the roadway. Here they come. And so Days ago, several miniature horses were rescued from junk stock at Sycamore Farms. Now the water is gone, leaving only puddles and mud. Miles of farmland near Waterloo look similar. Flooded fields and washed out streets. This is Dodge Road. You still cannot drive to Riverside Lakes, but residents are walking into their neighborhood over pallets. Anxious to get back home after evacuating last Thursday. Stephanie Nolte, 3 News Now.